Despite scientific findings which emphasize fluidity in sexuality, sexual orientation is still being presented to the contrary as fixed and unalterable. The American Psychological Association, for example, has long documented that many people report having undergone notable shifts in their patterns of sexual attraction, behaviors, or orientation identities over time. And in 2014, the Royal College of Psychiatrists changed its position statement, which up to then had claimed that sexual orientation was genetic and thus fixed, to recognize that sexual orientation does in fact change and is responsive to postnatal influences. Yet activists in the USA and Europe, even including the mental health institutions themselves, continue to demand that professional and pastoral support helping people to leave unwanted homosexual feelings should be criminalized. Thus, the must-stay gay or mandatory gay legislation proposals in several jurisdictions remove the chance of people getting help to live in ways that they choose. Each person in this series of interviews recognizes that they are not victims of their sexual feelings. They choose to leave homosexual behaviors, and as they do, many find that their feelings and patternings change. Listen to this. When I was young, I coveted the female body. I wanted to be female. I wanted to look like a woman. I wanted to feel like a woman. And that was expressed a few times in my childhood. As I got older and I reached my teenage years, I experienced a lot of um, expressions of men looking at me and telling me that I wasn't a man, that I wasn't masculine enough, that I didn't look like a man, that I didn't have the broad shoulders. This carried on into my adulthood. And the frustration of feeling not like a man really led me down a strange path. That path was, I realized that I was miserable as a man, and if I lived as a woman, perhaps things would change. And so I decided to become a pre-op transsexual woman. I was born a boy, and I lived as a woman for a number of years. If you'd like to hear the full interview, go to voicesofthesilence.tv subscribe at no cost to access all the interviews of those who are coming out of homosexual practices and those who support them. And don't forget to buy our DVD, Voices of the Silenced, Part 1.